Welcome back to Wiz Kids Week here on Millionaire. Let's welcome our next Wiz Kid, who received a perfect score on the ACTs at just 13 years old. Reminds me so much of myself. <laughs> From Atlanta, Georgia, 14-year-old Yes Kanadi. Yeah! Welcome. That's impressive. Thank you. But can you pass this test? This is a big one. That's right. We're about to find out. 14 questions stand between you and that $1 million. You have your three lifelines, plus you have the extra cut the question this week. They are there if and when you need them. Let's get to your game. Let's go. Let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? Good luck. Here we go. Every 60 to 110 minutes, the geyser, known as Old Faithful, spews thousands of gallons of what into the air? Water, confetti, espresso, salad dressing. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that geysers uh, spew out water, so, and not confetti, salad dressing, or espresso, so I'm gonna have to go with A, water, final answer. You passed the first test, that's right. <laughs> $500. Here's your second question. Where would you be most likely to practice your bumping, setting, and spiking? In a library? On a volleyball court? In a courtroom? On an alien spaceship? Okay, so I'm pretty sure bumping, setting, and spiking would upset, like, a lot of librarians. Uh, I'm gonna have to go with B, on a volleyball court, final answer. All things you do in volleyball, that's right. <laughs> Two down, here's your third question. The fittingly named butterfly Polygonia enterogationis has markings on the underside of its wings that resemble what type of punctuation? Exclamation points, question marks, semicolons, quotation marks. And so I see interrogate, so that's, I'm thinking that's going to be like a question. And it says fittingly named, so I think that works too. So I think I'm going to have to go B, question marks, final answer. That was the connection we were looking for. That's right. Good job. Here's your $3,000 question. In 2016, a New York Times review of the Angry Birds movie described the plot as non-aeronautic feathered creatures getting around via what? Rocket ship, skateboard, catapult, subway. All right, so I've played Angry Birds before. It's a pretty fun game. And I know that uh, you have to use a catapult to uh, use to get the birds to like knock down the structures and take out the pigs or whatnot. So. I'm gonna have to go with C, catapult, final answer. Exactly, that's right. Well done, $3,000. That gets you to our $5,000 threshold question, which would guarantee you five grand. Here's the question. Board math students may know that typing what number on a calculator spells out the name of a tech giant when flipped upside down. 5317, 0 0.7734, 3761006, 3781637713771. All right, so I see 376006, and when that's flipped around, that should be G O O G L E. And that spells Google, and Google is a tech company. I'm going to have to go with C, 376006, final answer. We couldn't do that as kids because Google didn't exist. You got it right. Good job. Way to go. Five questions in, $5,000. We got a whiz kid on our hands. Stick around. Here's your question of the day. In a 1980s book, psychologist Dan Kiley coined what term to refer to men who won't grow up? Peter Pan syndrome, Winnie the Pooh complex, Huck Finn phenomenon, or Don Quixote disorder? Answer to that question was Peter Pan syndrome.
Well, Whiz Kids Week, which makes sense because Yash Kadati making this look like child's play out here so far. Five questions in, easily up to five thousand dollars. You reach that threshold, haven't touched any of your lifelines, so yeah. you're in good shape. And now you know you can't lose that five thousand. We can only add to it. So let's add to it. Yeah. Let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? Yeah. All right, seven thousand dollar question. Which of these is a notable location in Norse mythology and not in Greek mythology? Mount Olympus, Elysian Fields, Tartarus, Valhalla. Okay, so I know that Mount Olympus and Tartarus are out because I both I've read about those both in the Percy Jackson series, as well as uh, B Elysian Fields. I, that's another place in the underworld. Uh, so I'm gonna have to go with D. Valhalla, final answer. Like I said, making it look like child's play. That's right. <laughs> 7,000. Keep it going, Yash, keep it going. $10,000 question is now on the board. If she opts to run, Salinators can vote for Selena Gomez to become a U.S. Senator in 2022 when she reaches what minimum age of eligibility? 25, 28, 30, or 35? I'm not really sure about this. I, I think I'm gonna ask the audience. Okay, final? Yes, my final. Okay, audience, we need some help here. If you would, pick up those keypads in your votes now. All right, Yash, let's take a look at the results. Oh. Well, not the crazy majority you were hoping for. 39% though, leaning towards B28. Okay. I think the best course of action right now would be to cut the question. So I think that's going to be my final answer. Okay, we'll get rid of it. Um, would you want to take a guess before we toss it in the trash? I probably would have gone with the audience with B. They were wrong. It was C, 30. Oh. So there you go. A few people applauded for themselves because they got it right. <laughs> Selfish people. <No. laughs> All right, good news is we're getting rid of that question. Here's your new $10,000 question. Showing tense or possibility, am, is, are, was, were, be, being, and been are among the words nicknamed what? Cooperative nouns, friendly adjectives, helping verbs, supportive exclamations. Okay, so the first thing that I was thinking before uh, it, the answer choices came up was linking verbs. And uh, helping verbs is pretty similar, but let me just uh, cross the rest of them out just to make sure. Take your time. So am, is, are, was, these aren't really nouns because noun is like a person, place, or thing. Okay. Adjectives, no, still not. It's not really describing anything. And exclamations, no, I wouldn't use, I wouldn't be like, was, if I got something wrong. Or right, I don't know. So I'm gonna have to go with C, helping verbs, final answer. Was, you got $10,000. Yeah, it doesn't work at all. Well done, that is $10,000. The time is up for today, but you're going to come back and play more Millionaire. Thanks for joining us here on WizKids. For everyone who's been a part of this, and I'm Chris Harrison. We'll see you next time. Welcome to Wiz Kids Week. Today we've got some amazing questions and an equally amazing bunch of kids ready to answer them and take a shot at winning that million dollar prize. So let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? Yeah. Everybody welcome to Millionaire, it's Wiz Kids Week. So from Atlanta, Georgia, let's welcome back this Wiz Kid, 14 year old Yash Kadani. 
Middle of a good game. You're playing well. Actually, you are right in the middle. At $10,000, you are seven questions in and seven questions away from that one million. And you still have two lifelines if you need them. But before we get back to your game, I heard this rumor about you having an alter ego. What's this about? Yeah, so that all started when I performed a math rap in my school's talent show. And now all my friends like to call me DJ Kadati and Yush Kadati and like all those kind of like silly names. That's pretty solid. Thank you. Bring it down the house. Well, right now you're $10,000. So let's uh, do a little math and add to that. Yeah. Let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? Yeah. 20,000 dollars is where we start today. Here's the question. Because it's evenly divisible by every integer between 1 and 10, what did Plato consider to be an ideal number? 1,880, 3,450, 5,040, 7,770. All right, so I'm just going to go through some of the answer choices and divide by every number to see uh, make sure it's divisible divisible by every integer between 1 and 10. So each of these answers is already divisible by 1. Uh, and they're also divisible by 2. You can see because they have a 0 at the end. Three divisible To be divisible by 3, a number, the digits in the number actually have to add up to uh, another multiple of 3. So 1 plus 8, 9. 9 plus 8, 17. 17 plus 0, 17. 17 is not a multiple of 3, so I can cross that out. Then 3 plus 4, uh, 7. 7 plus 5, 12. 12 plus 0, 12. So that, so B is still in the running. 5 plus 4, 9. Well, they're two zeros, so it doesn't really matter. So we'll just keep it at 9. That's also a multiple of 3, so C is still in the running. And then you've got three sevens, which adds up to 21. So we're going to keep that there too. Uh, next, we're going to have to go on to 4. And in order to be divisible by 4, the last two digits of the number have to be divisible. By four. So I see 50 over there. 50 is not divisible by four. And 40 is divisible by, well, divisible by four. So we're going to keep that there. 70, let me think. 70 is 40 plus 30. 40 is divisible. 30 is not divisible. So 5,040 is the only one uh, from one through four. But I'm going to go through the rest just to make sure. Right. So they're all divisible by five because they have a zero at the end. Uh, divisible by 6, they have to be divisible by 2 and 3. And since we already proved that they're divisible by 2 and 3, C is still over there. 7, uh, basically what you have to do is you have to... 7. Hmm. I'm kind of blanking out on 7. Alright, we're just... The only one that I would see here is divisible by 7 is D, but I'm not going to confuse myself. I'm going to keep going. Uh, 8, uh, it has to be, uh, the last three numbers have to be divisible by 8, and 40 is one of them. Let me just make sure that I'm not missing anything up because of that 7. 7 is... So what are some numbers that are divisible by 7? So 70 is divisible by 7, or let's just go 35. That just makes it easier. So 35. You know what? Um, I think I think I'm going to have to go with C, final answer. You weren't sure about 7, though. It is. You got it. Yeah. That was awesome. Thank you. Nice little math lesson you just gave. $20,000. Yeah. Not bad. Two away from that threshold, too. All right. Yep, two away from that 50000 threshold. The next step is $30,000, and we're going to take that step when we come back. Uh -huh. This young man can go when we come back. Welcome back to Millionaire Yash Kadati. Using his math skills to not only rap, but also to get to $20,000.
And as you mentioned right before the break, you are now two away from that $50,000 threshold. As far as lifelines go, you still have two if you need them to get to that threshold. But we have a step to take before that, and it's worth $30,000. And let's do that right now. So let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? $30,000. Though it was supposed to cure his fever, what toxic element with the symbol SB may have fatally poisoned Mozart? I like that smile already. Antimony, arsenic, bismuth, tungsten. All right, so I made sure to uh, uh, to dif differentiate between uh, this is slightly unrelated, but tin and antimony because they're very similar, SB and SN. I remember for sure that tin is SN, so SB has to be antimony. Let me just make sure though. So, fever, toxic element. Yeah, arsenic is poisonous, but it doesn't, it's not SB. Tungsten is W. Bismuth, I'm not sure, but it's not SB for sure. So I'm gonna have to go with A, antimony. Final answer. You got it. Yeah, you got it. Where you go, yes? Great job. This is getting fun. Yeah. You're at 30,000. You know what that next stop is? Pivotal part of the game. You get to that $50,000 threshold. You get there, you're guaranteed 50, and then a free look and a free guess at $100,000, and then who knows? You're only five away from a million. Yeah. Five more questions. Are you ready to continue? I am so ready. Me too. Let's do it. $50,000 threshold question is on the board. Argentina is greater in area than Belgium. Belgium has more people than Canada. Canada has more islands than Denmark. How many of those statements are true? None of the above, one of the above, two of the above, all of the above. Argentina is greater than in area than Belgium. That's definitely correct. I'm 100% okay. sure of that. Belgium has more people than Canada. I doubt it. Canada has more islands than Denmark. I know one of the big islands that Denmark has is Greenland, but I'm not sure how many small islands there are. So currently I see either one or two of the above that are one yeah, one or two of the above that are true. You know what? I think Belgium. Belgium has more people than Canada, probably not. Two lifelines to use if you need. 50-50 in your plus one. I think I'm gonna have to go with 50-50. Okay, final? Yes, final. Okay, we'll take away two incorrect answers. See what we're left with. Oh, great. Two of the above or all of the above? All right, so that made it a lot easier. So I'm pretty sure it's not all of the above because I, I have to be sure that Belgium ha does not have more people than Canada. So I'm gonna have to go with C. That is my final answer. So close to that $50,000 threshold. And now we're there. Yes! That's right, Belgium has fewer yes! people than Canada. Way to go. $50,000. DJ Kadaddy. 50 grand, guaranteed. Can't lose that. All you can do is add to it. You are now four questions away from $1 million. And you still have a lifeline. You still have your plus one up there. Your dad is behind you if you need him. Chance to double your money here. And again, you can't lose anything. So you're gonna take a shot at this. Yeah. Here it is, $100,000 question. Which of the following words does thesaurus.com list as a synonym for synonym? Metonym, anonym, demonym, alonym. So, demonym, I don't think it's demonym. You know, my dad is pretty good with like, uh, like roots and like vocabulary, okay. so I think I'm gonna use my dad plus one. Final? 
final. All right, let's bring him down here. Your dad. How you doing? Good, how are you? Well, having fun with this guy. <laughs> Start off the edge. How impressive is this? It's got to be fun for you to watch. A very proud moment. It's been, it's been. It's been um, we kind of need a little help here on a hundred thousand dollar question. Yes, yes. Any ideas? Uh, I've been thinking since I saw this question. I don't know. Um, I'm going to guess. Yes, I don't have an answer for this, so we are going to work through this. Okay. Anonym sounds more like antonym to me. That so, doesn't mean it's the same. It doesn't mean that it's a synonym for antonym. Uh, that's what I'm saying. So we are looking for a synonym for a synonym. So I'm going to eliminate B. Um, I think the main the main thing that we have to look at here is the first four letters of each word, or for first three or four. Yeah. So I'm not sure what meadow is. Demo uh, sounds like people, like uh, yeah. demographics, demographics, democracy. And... So I don't think it's demonym because of that. Holonym, the first thing I think of is, oh, maybe, you know what? Okay, so a word that I thought of when I saw alonym was allotrope, which is a chemistry word. And you know what allotrope means? It means that it's the same element, but yeah. it's in a different configuration. Okay. So like, wh what do you think meta means? Meta, meta is like meta means like high level thing. Right, it's like metadata. Yeah. Um, but metamorphosis also kind of. I'm, I'm not sure about metamorphosis. It's not metamorphosis. We just have to think of other words that have the same kind of root, and then try to see how they relate to right. other words. With this uh, met, I don't know. Meta is definitely a high-level thing. Yeah. And then so it is not the same as synonym. Yeah. It is. It is something different. Um, I think I'm leaning towards D. E? We ruled out B, we e. ruled out C. Yeah. Right? So it's between A and D. I think that's the main gamble that I need to take here, between A and D, but... Well, I again, would... you're going to gamble. Right. We're out of lifelines and you can't lose any money. This is a yep. free free shot at free 100 shot grand. Yeah. I think... Uh, you should go for D. I, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about D. Okay. I'm going to have to go with... D, Alanim, that is my final answer. A good run, but it was a metonym. It was metonym. Guys, that was phenomenal though. $50,000. Well done, Yes, You are an impressive young man. You're what Wiz Kids Week is all about. You're going to do some great things in the future, I know that. We're going to come right back.